subscribe to our channel for latest video series on gain UGC net and more. Also press the bell icon so that you never miss an update on any latest video. For more information you can visit our website or call on the numbers below. Right, so in this question, we are given a differential equation defining a system and uh, this, this equation relates the input and the output. So they have given you an uh, auxiliary condition, auxiliary condition means previous condition, previous state of the system which is at t is equal to 0, the input y0 is equal to y0 and they have given you the output which starts from this, see this input contains ut which means this input is applied after t is equal to 0. So they are uh, asking you to find yt which is the response of the system and then they are asking you to express it in terms of zero input response and zero state response right. So we start with uh, this equation. So as we have seen that output yt response yt consists of two parts which is particular solution, particular response and homogeneous response. This particular response depends on the input and uh, is, is, is of the form of the input only and this homogeneous input uh, response is going to be independent of the input depends only on the uh, this via LHS of this equation. So uh, what am I saying is let, let yt, I am just assuming this particular solution to be a into e power minus bty because the this particular solution depends on the input only right so this is going to be of some form some type of input only and this is going to exist only for t greater than 0. Now if I just put this ypt in the equation what is going to happen dypt upon dt plus a into ypt is going to be equal to k into e power minus bt. Now if you just put ypt here, what is going to happen? Right? So I can just cancel e to the power minus bt from the complete equation and this equation is going to become. So from here I can find that a is equal to k upon a minus b a is equal to k upon a minus b and particular solution of this equation is particular response of this equation is going to be k upon a minus b into e power minus bt and which exists for t greater than 0 right this is going to be the particular response of the system. Now if you if you talk about homogeneous response homogeneous response so I am saying that let homogeneous response be b e to the power st ok I have assumed this from my side this is my assumption why because my input was something of this form ok so I assume homogeneous uh, solution to this so homogeneous response to be b into e to the power st. Now this, this homogeneous response must satisfy must satisfy this, this equation. This must be satisfied right. Now if you just put it here this is going to be right. This is what this equation is going to be equal to yeah right. Since the input is 0 ok so we are putting this as e0 so this is going to become now for this equation to be 0, for the given equation to be 0, where b is not 0 we know, therefore s is equal to minus a, s is going to be equal to minus a or I can say that homogeneous equation, homogeneous uh, response of the system is going to be equal to b e to the power minus a t. Now, now what can you say? response of this system, response of the system which was going to be equal to particular response plus homogeneous response. This is going to be k upon a minus b into e power minus b t plus b e power minus a t. Now you have given the auxiliary condition that at t is equal to 0 this is going to be equal to y naught. This is y t right. So uh, at t is equal to 0 this should be equal to y naught. So I am putting t is equal to 0 here. Now this should be equal to y naught, y naught. 
here from here what I am going to obtain is B is equal to Y naught minus K upon A minus B right this is this is what we have obtained which means that okay, I am writing here which means that response of the system is going to become yt is going to be equal to uh, okay yeah k upon a minus b into e to the power minus bt plus in place of b i am putting this y not minus k upon a minus b into e to the power minus at right now see for t less than 0 for t less than 0 what is going to happen for t less than 0 this particular response is going to vanish okay this is not going to exist for t is equal to 0 y t is going to be equal to we are only going to have this homogeneous solution right and for t greater than 0 we are going to have both the solution when this input is going to be applied we are going to have both the solutions okay so now see for t less than 0 we are not going to have this input right this is xt is going to be 0 and this equation is going to become of this form this this equation is going to turn to this form dyht right and solution for this equation was b to the power est therefore for t less than 0 yt is going to be equal to b to the power b into e to the power est now since you know from auxiliary condition we are given the auxiliary condition that y is 0 y0 is equal to y0 if you put t is equal to 0 here this is going to become b which means that yt is equal to y0 e to the power st for t less than 0 and for t greater than 0 you are going to have the rest of the solution for t greater than 0 you are going to have yt equal to if you just combine both of them you are going to have k upon e minus b into e to the power minus bt minus e to the power minus at. So, this is going to be your response for t greater than 0 and this is going to be the response for t less than 0 right fine. So, uh, see this is the response that you have obtained for you this response we obtained without the input this this one this is we obtained for without uh, without the input. So, this is going to be your 0 input response zero input response this has been obtained without the input when input was not applied and this response this response is not due to the state okay i am multiplying this with ut since this occurs only for t greater than zero i can just multiply with ut now this response occurs only because of the input after the input has been applied so this is my zero state response zero state response now see uh, we noted that zero input response generally consists of homogeneous response only homogeneous part only whereas zero state response is going to consist of both consist of both zero input uh, homogeneous as well as particular response now you can see here this is a part of particular response and this is a part of homogeneous response this zero state response is consisting of both whereas zero input generally consists of homogeneous response only right uh, so this is how i am expressing yt in terms of zero input and zero state responses right yt is a combination of these two where this is zero input response and this is a zero state response okay this question we are given a differential equation defining a system and uh, this this equation relates the input and the output so they have given you a uh, auxiliary condition auxiliary condition means previous condition previous state of the system which is at t is equal to 0 the input y0 is equal to y0 and they have given you the output which starts from this see this input contains ut which means this input is applied after t is equal to 0 so they are uh, asking you to find yt which is the response of the system and then they are asking you to express it in terms of zero input response and zero state response right. So we start with uh, this equation. So as we have seen that output yt response yt consists of two parts which is particular solution particular response and homogeneous response this particular response depends on the input and uh, is, is, is of the form of the input only and this homogeneous input uh, response is going to be independent of the input depends only on the uh, this via uh, lhs of this equation so uh, what am i saying is let let yt 
I am just assuming this particular solution to be a into e power minus b t y because the this particular solution depends on the input only right so this is going to be of some form some type of input only and this is going to exist only for t greater than 0. Now if I just put this y p t in the equation what is going to happen d y p t upon d t plus a into y p t is going to be equal to k into e power minus b t. Now if you just put y p t here what is going to happen? Right? So I can just cancel e to the power minus b t from the complete equation and this equation is going to become So from here I can find that a is equal to k upon a minus b, a is equal to k upon a minus b and particular solution of this equation is, particular response of this equation is going to be k upon a minus b into e power minus b t and which exists for t greater than 0, right. This is going to be the particular response of the system. Now if you if you talk about homogeneous response, homogeneous response. So I am saying that let homogeneous response be b e to the power s t. Okay, I am assume this from my side. This is my assumption. Why? Because my input was something of this form. Okay, so I assume homogeneous uh, solution to this result. So homogeneous response to be b into e to the power s t. Now this this homogeneous response must satisfy must satisfy this this equation this must be satisfied right now if you just put it here this is going to be right this is what this equation is going to be equal to yeah right since the input is 0 okay so we are putting this as e0 so this is going to become Now for this equation to be 0, for the given equation to be 0, where b is not 0 we know, therefore s is equal to minus a, s is going to be equal to minus a or I can say that homogeneous equation, homogeneous uh, response of the system is going to be equal to b e to the power minus a t. Now, now what can you say? response of this system, response of the system which was going to be equal to particular response plus homogeneous response. This is going to be k upon a minus b into e power minus b t plus b e power minus a t. Now you have given the auxiliary condition that at t is equal to 0 this is going to be equal to y naught. This is y t right. So uh, at t is equal to 0 this should be equal to y naught. So I am putting t is equal to 0 here. Now this should be equal to y naught, y naught. Here from here what I am going to obtain is b is equal to y naught minus k upon a minus b, right. This is, this is what we have obtained which means that, okay I am writing here which means that response of the system is going to become yt is going to be equal to uh, okay yeah k upon a minus b into e to the power minus bt plus in place of b, b I am putting this y naught minus k upon a minus b into e to the power minus at right. So now see for t less than 0 we are not going to have this input right this is x t is going to be 0 and this equation is going to become of this form this this equation is going to turn to this form d y h t right and solution for this equation was b to the power e s t therefore for t less than 0 y t is going to be equal to b to the power b into e to the power e s t. Now since you know from auxiliary condition we are given the auxiliary condition that y is 0 y0 is equal to y0. If you put t is equal to 0 here, this is going to become b, which means that yt is equal to y0 e to the power st 
for t less than 0 and for t greater than 0 you are going to have the rest of the solution for t greater than 0 you are going to have y t equal to if you just combine both of them you are going to have k upon a minus b into e to the power minus b t minus e to the power minus a t. So, this is going to be your response for t greater than 0 and this is going to be the response for t less than 0 right. Fine. So, uh, see this is the response that you have obtained for you this response we obtained without the input this this one this is we obtained for without uh, without the input. So, this is going to be your 0 input response 0 input response this has been obtained without the input when input was not applied and this response this response is not due to the state okay I am multiplying this with ut since this occurs only for t greater than 0 I can just multiply with ut. Now this response occurs only because of the input after the input has been applied. So this is my 0 state response 0 state response. Now see uh, we noted that 0 input response generally consists of homogeneous response only homogeneous part only whereas 0 state response is going to consist of both consist of both 0 input uh, homogeneous as well as particular response. Now you can see here this is a part of particular response and this is a part of homogeneous response. This 0 state response is consisting of both whereas 0 input generally consists of homogeneous response only right. Uh, so this is how I am expressing yt in terms of 0 input and 0 state responses right yt is a combination of these two where this is 0 input response and this is a 0 state response ok. Now see if I want this system to be linear right if I, I am wishing that the system is linear this uh, given uh, equation is LCCD then what do I need see if you studied that for a system to be linear a non zero input should give zero output right if the input is zero output should be zero only and uh, zero input should not give a non zero output. Now see if xt is 0 that is if k if I make this k as 0 xt becomes 0 then my output should also be 0 my system should not respond to a 0 input. But if you just look at the response this is my response right here if k becomes 0 this part is going to become 0 but this part is still going to remain ok this is still going to remain for this part to be 0 what we need is we need that b should be b or y not y not must be 0 that is only when auxiliary conditions of a equation are 0 there are no auxiliary condition no memory in the system no previously stored values in the system only then my system is going to be linear for a system to uh, not to respond to a 0 input for a 0 input to not create a non zero output auxiliary conditions of the system should be 0. Similarly if I want the system to be time invariant then also this y 0 should be 0 y not must be 0 only then my system is going to be causal time invariant linear everything right. So the system should not have auxiliary condition and else we studied that if the system is not linear it, it has some auxiliary condition then we can express its output as sum of 0 input and 0 state response. See uh, this 0 input response is occurs in a non linear devices like capacitance inductors ok. They have some charge stored some, some uh, voltage stored that is why we are having this concept of 0 input response right. Ok, so uh, they have given us uh, interconnection of sum uh, this is an integrator this is these are integrators this is a summer and these are scalar multipliers ok. So they have given a connection of these elements and they are asking you to represent the system using a differential equation ok. So how are we doing this is see wherever we are having some different different signals suppose at this point I am considering that the signal is wt this point and at this point after addition after the, uh, this summer the signal is et. Now see this kind of approach is going to help you ok if you just try to deal with xt and yt directly you are going to get very confused better deal like this. Now since this is an integrator I can write that wt wt is differentiation of yt 
right? Since on integrating WT, I am obtaining YT, so I can write WT is uh, differentiation of YT. Similarly, ET, ET is going to be differentiation of WT. Why? Because when integrating ET, you are obtaining WT. Now, if you just look at this adder, this summer, what can I say? What all is coming here? WT is being subtracted after multiplying with the scalar multiplier A1. Right? So, what can I say? XT minus A1 WT and this is, this is A2 YT minus A2 YT is equal to this is uh, on adding and subtracting all these we are obtaining ET, ET. Now see we needed an equation in XT and YT only WT and ET are intermediate variables, intermediate signals that we introduced for our convenience. So I can just replace this ET and WT with DYT, right? I can write WT as, WT can be written as DYT by DT minus a2 yt is going to be equal to et. Now et is differentiation of wt where wt is differentiation of yt so I can write this as d2y by dt square. Now if I just rearrange this equation this becomes d2yt by dt square plus a1 dyt by dt plus a2 yt is equal to xt. So, this is my required differential equation. Now, see one thing that you can note here is order of this differential equation is 2. Order means the highest degree of dy by dt which is 2, right? This is the highest degree. Now, this order of the integrate, uh, order of this differential equation depends on the number of integrators. If I had, if, if I would have had, yeah, uh, 3 integrators here, then the order of my corresponding differential equation would have been 3. Order of the differential equation is always equal to number of integrators in the system, right? I had two integrators, so order of my differential equation is going to be 2. So, uh, this is how you are going to represent any system using differential equations in continuous time and difference equations in discrete time, right? Thank you.